So welcome everyone again to this week's installment of the Wednesday Word. This week we're going to be profiling the Student Government Association as well as the Student Activities Office. And with me here are three members of the Student Government Association as well as the Student Activities Office. I'd like to give you guys a chance to introduce yourselves and uh, tell everyone what your position is. Uh, sure, my name is Wyatt Young Landholt. I'm the Executive President of the Student Government Association. I see, oversee SGA as a whole. Uh, I, I also oversee the Student Senate and the Executive and my name is Devin Mock. I'm the Executive Programming Director for SGA. I'm in charge of organizing and following through with having events on the campus. I'm Jim Kromobrock. I'm the Director of Student Activities and I'm the main advisor to the Student Government Association. I also oversee the new student orientation process, which is new students you'll definitely be going through, as well as the whole first year experience. So why, if you could just give us kind of an overview of what SGA is. Sure. As I said before, SGA stands for Student Government Association. It's a, an association for the students run by the students. Every member is a student uh, and they're elected by the students. Um, we oversee different issues on campus involving the students and we also program events for the students. And um, so how easy is it to get involved with SGA? Like what, what made you guys kind of decide to get involved? Um, well, it's very easy to get involved. As a freshman, I signed up to be um, to run for president of my class uh, in, when I first arrived on campus. Uh, if you decide to come to Stonefield, you can uh, run for a position. There are signups the first month, and that's one of the easiest ways to get involved in student government. My personal experience was I got involved my sophomore year with the Concert Coffeehouse Committee, worked my way up through the ranks and to the executive program and tried to boost me on I also like to mention too that besides the Student Government Association, um, Stonehill has over 60 clubs and organizations for students to become involved with, and it's very easy to um, become a member of them. Each start of each um, semester, there is an activities fair where different organizations have tables, and students can go around and sign up to be on their email list and find out when their meeting times are at. We also have a fairly easy process for our students to start a new club organization. Um, there might not be a specific club organization currently um, offered here at Stonehill, and so we've made a process that is fairly easy for students to start their own club and really add to the vibrant campus life here at Stonehill. Okay, well, uh, thank you guys so much. I uh, really appreciate you guys being here. And Mr. Oak, this just in. Thank you, Diana. Uh, you guys are going to want to see this. Well, it looks like Programming Committee has a special announcement. Okay, well, uh, I've actually just been informed that we have a special press conference about to take place, so we'll take you guys there live right now, and uh, we'll see you over there.